Welcome to So Very Easy. My name is Laura and today let's make a traditional fabric yo-yo. A yo-yo is a little round disc of fabric. It starts with a circle, is gathered in, and makes these little puffs. So the back is clean, all of the edges are clean, even this inside has no raw seams. And they can be made in any size. To make the yo-yos, we need to start with a circle of fabric. I would recommend that your fabric is pressed and there's no wrinkles in it. Because once the fabric yo-yo is put together, there will be no pressing to take out any of those wrinkles. So start with a wrinkle-free circle. And we're going to stitch it from the wrong side. We're going to use thread that matches the fabric and is very strong. Some thread will break very easily, so we need a thread that is very strong. So test your thread by putting two layers together and pulling those two layers. If the thread won't snap, that will be a good thread to use. We're going to stitch around the outside of this circle. Once our needle is threaded, tie a knot at the end of the two threads. We will be stitching around this circle and as we stitch, we're going to fold in about a quarter of an inch all the way around that circle as we are stitching. That folded edge is going to be this inside. We don't have to have an exact quarter inch. Whatever you're comfortable moving in will work fine. I want to hide my knot, so I'm going to put it through the top of the fabric within that quarter inch seam. From here I can fold this and take a stitch. I'm just going to weave that needle in and out and fold that edge a quarter inch as I'm going around. When I get enough, I can just pull that thread. So I have big basting stitches that are going to go all the way around. Continue those big basting stitches as you fold that quarter inch over. And we need to do this all the way around. So we have that sort of quarter inch all the way around the outside with nice big basting stitches. From here we're going to be able to draw in that thread. And we don't need to press that. It'll be fine on its own. And that thread is going to gather all the way around. So you've started with a nice long piece of thread, but at the end you've only used a very small portion. From here we can make sure that yo-yo center is in the center. Once we have that all centered, we need to tie a knot to hold this thread in so it doesn't come apart. And there are two different areas we can tie the knot. The first one will be on the top. Pull that thread tight and with your fingers, pinch the center of that circle so the thread doesn't come undone. Now I can just take a stitch in one of those little ends and tie a knot. My favorite knot would be a double loop. So we have the thread coming out of the eye of the needle and it's that thread that comes out of the fabric we're going to need. And we're going to wrap it around two times. One, two. Slip that thread under your finger and pull that thread right through and it's going to make a nice strong knot. Once we've pulled that knot tight, the yo-yo is done. If you're not going to see this side, you can tie the knot through the back. Once we've pulled this thread tight, put your needle right through the center of that yo-yo. So you're coming out to the back end. Now I can take that thread and pull it tight to make sure that this is all gathered up, pinch my center together, and repeat that same knot. It's the thread that comes out of the fabric that gets wrapped around the point. Take a small little stitch through the back of the fabric and then take that end and twist two times over the point of that needle. So we have the thread in the eye of the needle and two twists on the point. As you pull through 
that long loop is going to go through those two twists and make a nice secure knot. I can now trim off this thread. This is all there is to making a yo-yo. We need to have good strong thread and a circle. And to know the measurement of the circle that we need to cut, we're going to take the finish size that we want and double it and then add a seam allowance. So if I have a three inch finished yo-yo, I'm gonna start with a six inch circle and that half inch seam allowance. So I'll need a six and a half inch circle. And that's going to go for any size yo-yo. We have that one inch yo-yo, we're going to do a two inch plus that half inch gives us two and a half inches. Even if we want a finished yo-yo at 10 inches, we're gonna do the same math, double it 20 inches and add that seam allowance. So we'd need a 20 and a half inch circle to get that 10 inch yo-yo. To make a quilt with yo-yos, you can sew them all together. You can take the smaller ones and sew them on top so there's different layers. And you can also embellish them. You can put little buttons or pearls in the center of those yo-yos and just stitch all the way around. There's no pressing and we just need to do that one row of hand stitching all the way around. Now yo-yos have been used for many, many years as embellishments on clothing, quilts, table runners, and for crafts and hobbies. What a great scrap busting project. Thank you for joining me today on Sew Very Easy. Feel free to subscribe and as always, come on back. Let's see what we're sewing next time in the sewing room. Bye for now.